In Newark, New Jersey, two brothers are finding meaning in the memories of those who came before them. You first. You're older. Much. <laughs> Mark Brummer, the taller, more strapping of the two brothers. <laughs> Michael Brummer, the one who opens every day, is behind the counter. He's the one that people see in the dining room because he doesn't like to get his hands dirty. Oh, I see. Well, okay. the schmooze is important. <laughs> schmooze is, is important. That's true. Business, you schmooze, have to is important. schmooze is important. Where are we today? You are at Hobby's Delicatessen and Restaurant at 32 Brantford Place in Newark at Hobby's Plaza. Downtown Newark, that is. It's been a delicatessen here since at least the 1910s. Wow. But it's been in our family since 1962. My father came from Poland in 1939, 1938. One of the last boats out of, out of Poland before Hitler moved in. And then dad got a job making salamis and bolognese at a delicatessen in the back. After a uh, trip back to Europe, uh, all expenses paid by the U.S. government, uh, he landed on D-Day and fought uh, on Omaha Beach, on Omaha Beach, which we visited. And my father in 1962 moved, came here, and uh, we're here ever since. Tell me about the menu. What are what are the top sellers? Our number five, corned beef pastrami, Russian and coleslaw. Corned beef pickled on the premises. It takes at least two weeks to, for us wow. to pickle to pickle a fresh brisket. Lots right. of all soup, Jewish penicillin, age-old family recipe, potato pancakes, applesauce and sour cream, of course. How else would you eat them? There's nothing like a very busy lunchtime. It's it's like a symphony orchestra. <laughs> uh, you know, you have you have the guys making, you know, slicing the corned beef and pastrami, that could be the violin, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know, you have the screaming and yelling, that's probably the drum. But, you know, it's just, it, it, there is nothing like it. What called to you about carrying on the family tradition? I grew up working summer vacations. Yeah. I loved it. Everyone ate here. Mm. I mean, everyone ate here in every social strata. Judges, politicians. And, to, and, but, to the bookie. Yeah, to the, to the, to bookie. the bookie, yes, who would sit at the front table. I think really what drew me to this business is the family. I have memories, this place. I mean, our mother just passed away, but she's in the walls. Mm -hmm. You know, they're both, they're in the walls. I can hear my grandmother when I do something at the cash register, count out the money. I still do it the way she taught me. And I'm making someone a sandwich. My father is, is there watching over me and making sure that there's not too much meat on the sandwich. <laughs> I, uh, uh, you know, but we making sure always, we don't always listen to. We don't always happens. listen to that. <laughs> Bottom line, it, the place is, is family. Our customers are family. Our employees are family. You have the customers kibitzing with you. You know, they'll they'll even walk behind the counter where they shouldn't be, but they'll come over and say <laughs> hello to us. People it, come in here, they feel like they're going home. What do you hope for the future of hobbies? Continue good health. Our, our customers, good health. Our employees, good health, and just. Yeah, everyone always says, oh, you're better than this one, you're better than that one. I, they, you know what, it's, it's as long as we are better than we were the day before, then that's all I can ask for.